Yeah, it's hard to know in particular what you can put this sliding form down to. Joe Cullen benefiting this weekend by the four players withdrawing. He was bumped up to a seed, but normally had the number one next to his name. He normally performs very well in these and on the Pro Tour. 96, Dave Rukai, He's double 18, his favourite. 110 check out for Dave Chisnell, very businesslike so far. Yeah, this is a player, of course, who was so agonisingly close in 2022 to becoming Premier League champion. It's Michael Van Gerwen in the final. This, to get one of the breaks back that he needs. Giving himself the luxury of time against the throw here, Joe Cullen. Hops to register his first leg. Now double ten. Twenty. Well, those are chances you feel he's got to take. One thirty. Very much makeable for Chiz. One dart at the ball. And he pins it, Dave Chisnell. And that one is really going to hurt for Joe Cullen. Missed three darts to get his first leg on the board. Unable to take them, and Chizzy punishes him. Dave Chisnell looking good for a whitewash win against Cullen. Has done it before, way back in 2015. Go back to Barnsley in the quarter-finals of the Pro Tour. Chisnell is whitewashed Cullen. Not a result I think any of us would have been expecting, even with Cullen's ropey form of late. Shanghai then to finish us off. Potentially, the best leg of the match. Wrong side of the wire. 92. But this has been so good, hasn't it, from Dave Chisnell. Averaging just shy of a ton in this one. And no, there hasn't been much coming back the other way from Cullen. Hugely frustrating and disappointing for him. But Dave Chisnell... ...eventually gets the job done. It is a whitewash win for Chizzy, and he is through to round four of the German Darts Championship, where he is going to take on the winner of our next match between Martin Schindler and Chris Doby. Huge disappointment for Joe Cullen, but Chizzy, aided by a sublime 110 and 130 checkout, six out of 10 on the outer ring, manages to advance, and the dream of making it back-to-back -back Euro Tour triumphs and moving up to number six in the world, well, it's still on. I'll have to double check, but I believe it's just a completely different dart. Managed to get the job done. He was tested by Mensal Sulevic, could have gone either way. A couple of big finishes for Schindler, particularly a 167, made the difference in that match. Yeah, that was huge. It was four apiece at the time, and it was so difficult to see which way that contest was going, the 167. Hugely significant. This could be at double ten for Doby. Up for double five. 70. Must require 122. Four eighteens for Bull. That's the likely route. Oh, another in there, I believe double seven. Double seven, Martin Schindler. 150. Put him in his third ten plus finish of the weekend.
Well, that was a little closer to the treble than he'd have liked. Three for double two for Shindy. There it is, 2-0 Martin Schindler. The German number one opens up a two-leg advantage as he looks to reach the quarter-finals yet again on the European Tour. He almost always does this year. That's a dart he can use. Doesn't do so. Bad ton there for Shindy. Leaves him vulnerable. Very vulnerable, it turns out. Because that's the first maximum for Chris Dobie, and he's getting his act together now. Yeah, Chris Dobie has arrived in this one, and Martin Schindler wasn't really having to do anything spectacular to race into a 3-0 lead. But now that Dobie has upped his level, Shindy's going to need to do the same. Because that, that is a break back for Chris Dobie. We're back on throw in this one. At 12 data. Chris Dobie has clicked into gear. 100. Then has got better himself, though. Oh, look at this. Yeah, lovely stuff. It's a fifth 180 of the game. It's 3 2 Schindler in that regard. Schindler's turn to take out relatively comfortable finish with Dobie sat on a one treble combo if there's a mistake and there is a mistake from Schindler there wasn't in Dobie in the last leg this for a level game I think been 3-0 behind in this one Dart double 60 oh it's agonising Muscle requires 60 And Shindy does break again. We are dealing exclusively in breaks at the moment in this one. And it's another 14 data for Shindy to move within one of the match. If he can hold here, he is through to yet another quarter-final on the Euro Tour. Well, the basic pattern of this game is it wasn't very good at the start and Martin Schindler was winning the, the average legs. Chris Dobie got better, Martin Schindler got better. It's been a great game in the back half of it. And it could be a perfect leg to finish it because Martin Schindler is on the nine. We have seen Danny Noppert this weekend miss the double for the nine data. Martin Schindler has 144. The treble 19, the awkward bit, is already done. Another in there. Oh, no, the deflection. Amazing. Agonising for Martin Schindler. There you see the deflection off the first dart. But importantly, he's now 64 points away from yet another victory, a fifth successive victory over Hollywood. It's going to be at a double he loves, double 16. Gonna get three clear at it when he comes back. 134. Toby's not been able to recover sufficiently from the poor start to this one. Martin Schindler to march on. He's lucky he's not bust his score there. But how does he get through to that double eight? Over on the left hand side. Can't do it. Four match darts missed by Martin Schindler. Credit to Dobie for sticking to his task here. He did not throw any darts away. He stuck to his task in the hope there were mistakes from Schindler. There were multiple ones. Deciding leg.
He should have got another match start there. Missed the big number. How about this for Dobie? Double 19 or 15. Difficult shot. Now Martin Schindler has a decision to make. Straight at the double 11 or does he split it for a more favourable double? Straight at it. And in, and Schindler beats Doby once again. And once again, the German number one is in the quarterfinals on the European Tour. The champion in Risa has battled past Mensur Sulevic and now Hollywood. And three more wins tonight would see successive German winners here in Hildesheim on the Euro Tour. That put him on throw for the final leg and he made no mistake. Yeah, didn't lead in that match until that ninth leg. Key moment. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, and he very nearly gets it. Michael Van Gerwen, no need to try and take that out. But as we've seen him do many times, he likes going up there and letting his opponent know who's boss. 130. Well, so far, he's bossing this game. He doesn't regret going for the 167 because he tidies up 25 very nicely indeed. He was in a chipper, cheeky mood yesterday after his win against James Wade. Speaking to our MC Philip Brzezinski, saying that Danny Nopper looks up to him. Just uh, laying his cards on the table. That's well, probably right. 100. I'll tell you what, so far this weekend, Michael Van Gogh and his face, James Wade, and half a match against Danny Nopper, and they're two phenomenal darts players, and they've done nothing to concern him. Just a couple of practice games, these for MVG this weekend. Almost a test of his own concentration, knowing that he's getting nothing thrown back at him. Got to keep doing the job though, and he wants tops. This time it's more clinical, takes it out first time of asking. Okay, going just losing the weight there with darts two and three, but still in a very strong position in this game. Though Danny Nopper has finally started to play 95 after nine, excellent leg from the freeze. Oh, Van Gogh's on something better. Van Gogh's on 41 after nine, and if Danny Noppert doesn't take this, he's staring down the barrel of a whitewash. Double done. It is. Double top. Double, double finish from Danny Nopper. He does not give in. 12 data. Not enough to leave a finish. Ninety-one. Van Gerwen just carrying on. Four visits of good scoring, every single leg, and it's giving him opportunities. One hundred. Danny Nopper has not had many. What a marker! Oh dear. 20. Well, he stares at his hand because he has absolutely no idea how he didn't make use of that marker dog. That's a decent marker as well. A Shanghai on the 18s. Danny Nopper breaks the MVG throw. Oh, Danny Nopper. This game changes. Van Gogh is still averaging 102 and a half here. It's not like he's got significantly worse. He's just missed some doubles in that sixth leg. Danny Noppert's improving. 100. Danny will require 80. 
of the three in a row. Well, the darts do stand up very tall. And enough, it had to go closer to tops. Is he going to pay the price? Van Gerwen wants tops himself, Game gets it. Gives it the trademark celebration. He breaks the throw, and he's one leg away. With the second one. Fifty-eight. Michael, you require one hundred and forty-six. Van Gerwen is going to win this game of darts. He looked like he was going to win it. Ninety-six. All the way through until that little moment when it just suggested that Danny Noppert could be staging a fight back. But a deflection, a dart on the floor, denied him a chance to win that seventh Michael leg, and Michael Van Gerwen. A streaked away into the distance. Double 16 for a 6-2 win. Game that completes it. Superb stuff Michael from MVG. Danny Knopper battled bravely. But 4-0 down to the three-time champion at the German Dance Championship. It was an almost impossible task. 102 average from MVG. He's through to the quarterfinals. That's more like it from Snakebite, his second maximum of this one. But is he going to get a look? May not, but he does. It's another dart missed at double for Jan van Veen. Has to split. Up for double four. 22. Wide of the target. Double nine. It was inside. The bit of a lazy dart. You can tell he didn't throw it properly because it landed in a completely different angle to normal. Well, to right levels things up, and this has been a real scrap so far. He's someone who we've seen average in excess of 114 on the Euro Tour. Damon Hetter knows very well what this man is capable of doing. Well, 18, you would think. 98. Gianni require 80. The way he starts lie, this should be a Good shot, and he hits the treble. Lead double ten, Van Veen back in front. Matches the best leg of this match, a 14 darter. Well, on the basis of what we've seen this afternoon, I don't think Michael Van Gerwen will particularly fear Peter Wright or Kian Van Veen. 85. No, not on this performance, but surely Whichever one of these two he'll face, he'll expect it to be significantly better than this. 95. Gianni require 142. Oh, brilliant. Double 16. That play. is better. That is what we've been missing. Kian van Vee didn't need to stay on the treble 20 to go at double 11. With Peter Wright way back, and it's a classy 142. Re establish the lead. Sure what the hesitation was there with Peter Wright, but both 180 of the match. 81. Peter, you require 143. Van Veen's just hit 142. Peter Wright go one better. Yes, he can. It's raining. Tom plus checkouts now in Hildesheim.
neither of these have taken the game by the scruff of the neck and really run with it. But it looks like Peter Wright is running away with this match now. How much pressure can Van Veen apply? 100. Peter, you require 81. He's had a 12 darter, a 13 darter. Won't be a 14 darter to end things. What does he do now? Does he go double double? Of course he does. Unsuccessfully so. Van Vey needs some inspiration. Might be the last darts he throws. Peter Wright wants double 18. For the first time in 2024, Peter Wright is in the quarterfinals of a European Tour event. It is entitled, he wants to reclaim seven years on from winning here in Hildesheim. Get a look at the 130. Well, if he doesn't take it out, he might well be broken back because this is a heck of a leg from Darrell Gurney. Look at this. Travel 13. What a setup. On a 10 data. May not get to go. Double five for the Polish Eagle. And it is a 10 dart break back for Daryl Gurney. Got to be perfect here. Can't get it started. Bring the bullseye in. Gamble didn't pay off, so rather than being on a two dart finish, he's on a three dart finish. I think it'll be leaving double 18 again. 100. Christopher Rakai, 102. Double 14 of Bull. Sensible shot, leaves tops. Game yeah, time. really good from Christopher Ratajski. And look at him scream at the ball. He's turned up yet. Christoph Ratajski missed a golden opportunity to break and lead 3-2. Within a matter of visits, he might be broken and trail 4-2. He gets the numbers well, right. Single 18 would have left to finish as well. That leaves a slightly better one, but it is advantage Gurney in a big way here. To leave, double 16. And pinning it as well, 15 dart breaker throw. Darrell Gurney has gone from being on the ropes to being in charge of this in the space of a leg and a half. But that isn't as good as he would have liked, Ratajski. We'll get a look at the 1-2-4, but he's going to be under enormous pressure from Darrell Gurney. 124. Two perfect darts required. There's one of them. Well, it's another, but he needs a third now. 130. Got two perfect, but he needed a perfect one at the end. That will Gurney a chance to win the match. A 6-2 win. His first ever win on a big stage against Christoph Ratajski. Double 16, the target. Super Chin is in the quarterfinals, the former winner of the German Darts Championship, overcomes the Polish number one, who's keener 
to keep apologising for nicking his drink. You can have all the water you like, Christoph, because Superchin has got a quarter-final to look forward to, and it could be against the defending champion, Ricardo Pietrezco. He's coming up against the Welshman, Nick Cannon. Don't hit a 180. Don't hit a 180. 145. Good lad. Ricardo requires 160. That's a plus 120 and 180 in the space of three legs. That'd be something. This should be something. This would be something big. What a leap. <laughs> and he knows it. Entirely by design, of course. Double 18 for Nick Kenny. For a third hold of throw in a row. That's better. That's a 13 darter. Leaves a two darter. Probably should have been a better one, but might not matter. Oh, eight for double 16. <laughs> he really didn't want tops, did he? He really didn't want it. He's got eight for double 16. Wow, he has sacrificed a dart at double to have a go at double 16. Missed both at it. That is, I mean, it has been done before, but very rarely. Double, double. Yeah, Nick Kenny was wanting double 19, <laughs> double top. <laughs> what a bizarre game of darts this has been already. 61. Ricardo, Nicely set 60. up for double 18. Is he going to split this? Game time there we go. Well, eventually, Ricardo Pietrezco gets the leg one, and he gets it one in the very specific corner of the board that he wanted it one in. Yeah, he's happy with that one. Gets down to 108. Can't be happy with this one. Not as happy as he might have been, but he is just hanging around, lurking in this leg. Single 19 for double 16. Yeah, he loves that double. It's just got a bit neater and tidier this game, hasn't it? That'll play on the mind. Pikachu first to a finish against the throw, but you'd expect Kenny to be on a better one, especially after dart one. 100. Ricardo require 121. Feels important this little passage of play. Double 20. The double 18. Kenny looks away. But he'll hear that. And Pikachu celebrates right into his eye line. It is the breaker throw the German needed. 4 3 to the defending champion. Yeah. Kenny going to have to display even more grit and determination to close this out. 140. Surgical last start. Where does he fancy going? Tops for Nick Kenny. Yeah, he is 5 4 up. Nick it is Kenny. a first Tum Plus checkout of the event for Nick Kenny. And he's one leg away from a place in the quarterfinals. Potentially the real surprise package at Hildesheim. Something magical could happen tonight for Nick Kenny. He could do a Ricardo. Got to win this game though, and Ricardo is closing in and forcing a last leg decider. Oh, it's another one, is it? The three trouble 15s. He's done this already this weekend. He's done it again.
And of course, it might not matter. It doesn't matter. Take your three treble 15s and shove it, says Ricardo. Good start. Team to beat the defending champion. Double nine. Is that it? Pikachu thought it was over. He's got a chance to save himself. Has to hit a treble. And can't. 65. This isn't easy, though. Has to play it so safe with the single one. It, this is nervous, you can see it, you can feel it. Keep it straight. Yes, he has that. Look at him try and keep himself calm. This is not easy. He's struggling, he's struggling. They're all struggling. Double four for the match. Double two. Oh, Nick Kenny. That is five match darts. This leg alone accounts for more than a third of darts he's had at double. For the first time, he has not been clinical. Double 18. 17. Ricardo <laughs> Petrezco may have thrown his last few darts. This is pure tension. The worst leg of the match is being saved for the last. If you told Nick Kenny 40 minutes ago that he would have darts for the match, he would have bitten your hand off right now. I'm not sure he wants to throw him. To beat the defending champ, double two. Double one. Nick Kenny has done it. Now he can celebrate. Look at the release. The Welsh runs in his first ever Euro Tour quarter final and the defending champion is beaten. Pikachu will not retain his crown. Nick Kenny is in the final session of the German Darts Championship. Simple but highly effective. There it is. Well, you said it wouldn't be too long. Goldfinger delivered. 137. Andrew, you require 121. Well, this has been much better from Gilding. 11 or treble. Leaves the bullseye. Oh, some way off. Damon, you require 40. They weren't great starts at tops, but that is superb from Damon Hetter. One hundred. Is he going to switch? 150. Leaves double 18. It's a lovely setup from Damon Hatter. He's performing strongly on his own throw and he's doing enough against it. Pretty toxic combination for Andrew Gilding. He just isn't doing enough in this match full stop at the moment. But it's clinical again Damon from Hatter. Damon Hatter. Two darts. 1-4-1 one, one, then, won't go. And Damon Hetter with that 1-1-40 one, one, visit has put himself in the driving 65. seat in this leg, Damon, coming from absolutely nowhere in it. Andrew Gildin not taking the opportunities when he was coming up dry. And he take care of this 76. Andrew, 76. 
Yeah, it's been the first leg on hold where Damon Hatter has not produced the goods. Gilding's got two at double eight. Only Gilding needs the on one. The Top leg. corner and Andrew, Andrew Gilding. Gilding is now two legs behind. Seventh leg, Andrew Half the deficit to what it was. on his own throw, and yet he might need to go. Now for treble 20, double 16. Damon Hetter millimetres away from going within a leg of victory. Andrew Gilding was broken twice in the first four legs. And yet he's back on level terms now. Complete the turnaround. Don't miss the big number. Even better, hits the treble for double 14. 107. Damon, you require 101. In the last four legs, Gilding has had darts at double and he's taken them. Will Hetta snatch second chance away? 69. No, he doesn't. And you require 14. 10. Well, maybe that second dart in the three segment put him off slightly because that was dangerously close to the double segment. And Damon Hetter finally stops the rot. He won the first four legs, lost the next four. Whoa. That's more like it, Damo. His first maximum of the match, and boy, did he need it right to that moment. Timing is so much of this game. 100. Damon, he requires 71. And that's exactly what he needed. Put himself on the hill. He's got two at double 16. Yeah, he only needs the there. one to get over the line. It's a 14 darter to see out the match. What? Flexion taking him out of his stride there as he looks to set this up. At times yesterday, Tops wasn't Ryan Searle's best friend. He had a love-hate relationship with it yesterday. It's all hate so far today. And it's not working for Littler either. Luke Littler, two out of nine on the doubles. Ryan Searle's one out of ten. Eleven. Twelve. Dear me, what is happening? Who is this man? I know he looks like Ryan Searle, but he's not playing like him because Ryan Searle is known for big scoring and hitting double top loads, and he's not doing either of those things. He should be able to use Game that, and he does eventually. At the start of the day, this was one of the real games you'd have picked out going, that that is a guaranteed banger, and whoever wins it... There's a real chance of going on taking the title. Now, whoever wins it does have a real chance of going on taking the title, but not playing like this. Better than Searle. He may as well go three bulls the way he's been playing so far. 90. Ryan, you require 24. Oh, it's in and it's out. And that's in. Well done, Ryan Searle. Ages has been mightily impressive, but I think this is the sort of thing, if he can keep this up, 54. this is what's so impressive. 17 years of age, and the way he started this match, the maturity he has shown to turn it around like this, his fourth maximum of the match. 
on 43 after nine. Again, on for a potential 11. Oh, maximum two legs. He still can't hit doubles. He could be punished this time because Searle is close enough to get a shot. He has got a shot. Double 16. 74. Managed to take it. This for 5 2 and another break, and it looks like curtains for Searle. Back to back 13 darters. It's so much better than what's gone before. But yeah, you're right. He has stuck to his task, Luke Littler. But truth be told, so poor was he in the first five legs of this game Whoa! against a normal Ryan Surley, be 5 0 down. Heavy Metal didn't punish, and now he's allowed Luke Littler to establish himself in the game, and he's hitting 180s as if they're going out of fashion. Searle decides it looks fun, and he's going to join in. You, where's voices going? It's all happening. It's all happening. 140. It's still on for Ryan Searle. He's finally arrived, finally joined the party in this one. Danny Noppert missed double 12 for the nine yesterday. Not going to see a nine data from Ryan Searle here, and this might be his last visit in the match because Luke Littler once again. Nothing happened apart from missed doubles in the first few legs of this. Then it's gone berserk. 20 segment. Bullseye to win it. Luke Littler misses a match dart. Oh, and he's missed the big number, Ryan Searle. This is absolutely bonkers. Luke, you require 25. Five for double ten. That's his route. And that's his route to the quarterfinals. Ryan Searle is beaten by Luke the Nuke Littler. A game of two halves, because the first was pretty ropey. But the back end, well, it was explosive from Luke Littler.